What's going on YouTube? My name's Alex, and this is Ask the Cheese Gaming. And I'm back with a new review for you today. This time I'll be talking about Extreme G2, or XG2. This is the follow-up sequel to Extreme G1. It was developed by Probe Entertainment and published by Acclaim. It had a North American release of November 17th, 1998. This game, like its predecessor, is fast as you're racing at upwards of 300 to 400 miles an hour. You start off using one of 10 bikes in this game. They are G-Spark, Boomsta, Mooga, Grimace, Wraith, Surge, Zeo Mask, Max, excuse me, Vex, Free Seeker, Velofire, and then, upon beating the Extreme Contest on higher difficulties, which is one of the modes in this game, you can unlock three super bikes. They are Venom, Wasp, and Spectre. Now, after you beat a different mode called Mirror Mode and compete in a one on one race, you can eventually unlock the actual people who pilot these bikes, but sadly, they lack any real personality or character design. There's also a wider array of tracks in this game, much more so than the previous, which just had a base 12 tracks. The backgrounds, lighting, and sound effects within the levels and the tracks themselves have also seen a major improvement. You can race these levels in Extreme Contest, Arcade, Practice, Time Trials, or the one-on-one -on -one races. Trying to unlock all the bikes, all the courses, and all the characters adds a certain amount of replayability to the game. Or you could just use cheat codes online because it's the year 2020 and race with the best bike but that's your decision now as i previously mentioned in regards to the sound for this game the music has definitely gone in a very different direction in this game it's much calmer and quieter than in regards to extreme g1 personally i prefer the music from the first game but some people may prefer this a neat element about the music in this game is that the closer and closer you get to breaking the sound barrier, the more and more quieter the music gets to the point that when you break the sound barrier in this game, the music disappears entirely, and all you're left with is the, your character and the roar of your engine. <clears throat> One major area where this game suffers is whenever you bump into something, oftentimes it forces you to turn around so that you're facing the wrong direction. This really inhibits feeling and enjoying that sense of speed. And sadly, this occurs a lot. You suddenly take a sharp turn, you bump into something, now you're facing the opposite direction. You're in the thick in a dogfight, so to speak, against other racers. You get hit, now you're facing the other direction. It really inhibits the gameplay and just enjoying the sheer sense of speed in this game. Another area where XG2 suffers is it has major slowdown issues, far more so than in the first game. If it's just you, like in say time trial mode, you won't see it, but if there's a lot going on on screen and the action's chaotic and frantic and there's, you know, missiles flying and everything else, it really causes slowdowns and causes to make the game more difficult than it needs to be. Overall, I'd say this game is just okay. If you enjoy sci-fi racers, then hey, go ahead, check it out, pick it up. You can find it for pretty cheap in the wild. But if sci-fi racers aren't your major forte, you could probably find other better games elsewhere. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. I hope everyone is staying safe in these crazy tumultuous times, and I'll see you in the next review. And if there's a game that you want to see me review, then please leave me a comment down below and I'll see what I can do. Thanks everybody. See you in the next video. Bye.